This video is for entertainment purposes and you should always consult an electrician. Hey everyone, this is Derek with Main Garden and Homestead. I'm here checking out a parallel kit uh, put out by Predator. And I've heard all kinds of things about whether or not you can run 2000 EU generators of different brands together. Um, one thing I found out is that these aren't labeled 1 and 2 to match the outlets on the Honda. Um, but the Predator actually has them color coded so you know. I end up looking it up online, so I believe I have this hooked up correctly. If I don't, I'm probably going to fry these. But um, I'm, I've been trying to figure out whether or not you can hook these two together. A Predator 2000 and a Honda 2000. And I've been doing as much research as I can. I've read all kinds of stuff that says you can't, and I've heard people say you can. So I'm about ready to run a test and uh, share the results with you. Hopefully it's not an expensive test. Um, it's not on load. They're both shut off, the grounds are hooked up to both of them, and we're about ready to give it a go. Here's my Honda. Oh. Doesn't sound like it wants to run right now. Oh, I choked it, that's why. <laughs> there we go. The throttle controls on, eco throttle. Now this one's in the off position. Get ready for start. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't kill him. Eco throttle control being turned on. So they're both 1600 watt output generators, 2000 surge watts or peak watts. Um, they're both pretty comparable. The, jet, the Honda's a little bit older and uh, I just picked up the Predator this year. Um, just wanted to try it out. The Honda sometimes has some issues, which kind of blows me away. I've always had good luck with Hondas. But this one sometimes will run for four or five hours and just shut off. And then once it cools off, I can start it again. I've been trying to figure it out, troubleshooting. I've checked everything to do with the oil, the, the air filter, but the, that's another video. We'll work on that sometime. But anyways, here's a Predator uh, parallel uh, connector. I'm going to hook a load to it. I'm going to set this to my camper in hopes I don't cook anything. <laughs> I think we're in good shape because nothing blew up right off. But you never know. Kind of hard to do with one hand. There you go. I just put a load on it. I can hear it kick up a little bit. And here I'm 100% off grid. That's why I'm really excited about this parallel little kit. Let's see if we can turn on the air conditioner. Try to figure out which way is cold. Wrong way. Oh, it's running my AC. So, I have a really big generator, now my TV kicked on, but I have a really large generator um, that I typically use, but it uses so much fuel, and with fuel costs right now and everything like that, I really had to find a better solution. So, um, this worked really well, but they're running perfectly in parallel. I'm pretty happy with the results. I was kind of nervous, but so if anyone asks, can you run a Honda and a Predator generator, both 2000s, equal wattage? Um, I've heard I've heard people have tried, uh, you know, different size wattage. I don't have that. That wasn't my issue. So this is what I'm doing, and it's working well. It's actually running the air conditioner in my camper, and uh, it's great for the middle of summer, living off grid. Um, but I hope this helps you. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. A Honda 2000 EU and a Predator 2000 EU, uh, both inverter generators running in parallel. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Main Garden and Homestead.